There has also been a very heartwarming development in Nyeri about the infant, now famously known as Baby Brian. Carol Derry has more on this story. It is 10 a.m. Wednesday morning. There's palpable tension in the air at the Consolata Madari Hospital's operating theater. A team of seven specialists is about to correct a major deformity on baby Brian Getau. Baby Brian was born with his brain hanging outside his head, and though he had been given just days to live, if not hours, baby Brian surpassed expectations and is now one and a half years old. His condition, medically referred to as encephaly, is further compounded by a major facial cleft deformity. The team of doctors is led by Dr. Peter Wanyoike, a consultant neurosurgeon. They traveled from Nairobi for the grueling operation that would last well over five hours. In an intricate process, the doctors worked closely on Brian. They started with the brain surgery before maxillofacial surgeons worked on the facial cleft deformity. The doctors carried out the surgery for free. There was anxiety as people awaited the news of the surgery's outcome. At about 3 p.m., the doctors came out of the theater and declared the surgery a success. Brian Gitao, a baby that we have had in our hospital with some uh, disformities, has been operated on and the surgery has been very successful. What we have done is to successfully excise or remove that growth and the part of the brain that was not functional because of where it was has been successfully removed. He also has a cleft palate which is a cleft on the roof of the mouth that we are going to um, repair three to six months from now depending on how he heals from this surgery and this will assist him to feed better because right now he's feeding from a tube. The only female neurosurgeon in Kenya, Dr. Sylvia Shitsama, was part of the team as well as the chairman of the Neurological Society of Kenya, Dr. Mahmoud Kureshi. Dr. Emily Nyamu led the maxillofacial team. What many had wondered is how the surgery would be done given that part of the brain was literally out of the baby's head. It had been claimed that Brian's mother had disappeared after learning of her son's precarious condition. 22-year-old Elizabeth Nyambura, the baby's mother, however, was at the hospital been out of the theater awaiting the outcome. She denied abandoning her son, saying that the medics at Kenunga dispensary where she gave birth had given baby Brian just 12 hours to live. <laughs> Nyambura, a class 8 dropout, was accompanied by her mother. Brian's grandmother said she would assist in giving him the best care she would once Brian is discharged from the hospital. Brian Akipona tutashukuru Mugu. Tulikuwa tunamwombea. Eh although tulikuwa na shida kidogo. Brian will remain in the care of the doctors at Madari Hospital led by pediatrician Dr. Agnes Midamo who has been tending to him since he arrived at the hospital in news just a day old. He will require close monitoring. For now, baby Brian continues to recuperate at the Madari Hospital. And as to whether he will live a normal life, doctors say it is too early to ascertain that. But there is optimism that he will live a productive life. Carol Derry, KTN, Nyeri County.